Hey, what's up everybody, I'm Tommy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to adjust the blade on your bandsaw. So this is a 12 inch Craftsman bandsaw that's probably about 30 years old, but the techniques I'm gonna show you should apply to many different bandsaws. Using the knob at the top of the machine, set your blade's tension based on the width of your blade. Turning the tracking screw will either tilt the wheel towards you or away from you, which will cause the blade to move either towards you or away from you. Adjust the blade so that it's right in the center of the wheel. When you look under the table, you'll see the bearing and blade guide assembly. The first thing you want to do is set the depth of the bearing. You can set the depth of the bearing by loosening this set screw right here and then just manually pushing or pulling on the bearing to make sure it's at the right place. The right place for this bearing is with the back of the blade almost touching it. So you don't actually want the blade to touch it, but you want it to be very close. Once you have that set, you can tighten the set screw. The next thing you want to do is set the blade guides themselves. So by loosening the set screws on the very front of the assembly, you can adjust the blade guides. So the blade guide should be very close to the blade, but again, not quite touching it. Once you get that set correctly, you can then tighten those set screws. Then you need to loosen this screw right here. Loosening this screw will allow you to move the blade guide assembly forward and backwards. And so basically, you wanna set this so that the blade guide is very close to the teeth, but not quite touching them. Then you need to do the same thing at the top blade guide assembly, but it's a little bit different. Loosening this set screw right here will allow you to turn this top knob. And when you turn this top knob, it'll either push the bearing forward or backwards. And again, you want it to be almost making contact with the blade, but not quite. Once you've got it to the point where it's close to the blade, but not quite touching, go ahead and tighten the set screw. These two screws on the back side of the blade guide assembly lock the blade guides themselves in place. Loosening these will allow you to adjust the blade guides. And this screw on the outside of the assembly locks the blade guide assembly's depth knob. Turning the knob moves the assembly either forwards or backwards. And again, you want the blade guides to be close to the teeth of the blade, but not touching them. When you've got it in the correct position, tighten the set screw. Now adjust the blade guides just like you did the bottom so that they are close to the sides of the blade but not quite touching. Once those are good, tighten their respective set screws as well. If your blade isn't square with the table, adjust the table using this lever on the back side of the saw. After that, you can start making test cuts to see how the blade is performing and to make sure your cuts are square. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I put out a new video. I'd love to hear what you think about this video in the comments section below. And if you have any quick questions you want answered, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And until the next time I see you, I hope you have fun building something.